In this video, we will show you KPM's payroll module along with the basic features that are available for both an accountant in practice as well as a small business user. So let's start by clicking on payroll. Here you will see our main dashboard and in the top right hand corner, you can flick between the modules available to you. To the right is our bulk payroll facility for accountants in practice. We have a ticket option to raise tickets to our technical team. We have a help guide. And the final icon is for you to log out of the system. In the top left, an accountant in practice can flick between their clients. And on the left hand side, you can flick between the various categories available to you. In settings, we have PAYE details, which is a first and must be entered prior to carrying out a payroll. The second tab includes contact details. The third is where you provide your HMRC login credentials. And the fourth, you can choose between the various payslip styles available. And the final step is changing the tax year. So let's visit the main dashboard again. As you can see, the top left hand table provides you a summary of your submission status so far, broken down into various categories. The top being HMRC submitted. If any submissions have taken place, RTI submissions, that is, a record will be shown here. This is followed by KPM submitted. Any records which are submitted directly to KPM system, mostly for record keeping purposes, for those who don't actually submit to HMRC, you'll find a record of that here. Any payrolls that have been completed will be shown here. Any payrolls which are due will be shown here. Finally, any failed will be shown here. As you can see, they're broken down into two categories, one for FPS, and one for EPS. The table on the right shows you your monthly payroll summary in spend. As you can see, it's broken down into three categories and will be colorized in gross pay, any leave, and any other pay that's associated with a pay run. The table below is an indication of the PAYE details you have provided us prior to running your first KPM payroll. We will always ask you for these details prior to running a payroll for the first time. There is an option there to synchronize the data within KPM's bookkeeping option as well. So whenever a pay run takes place, it will automatically send details to KPM's bookkeeping if you use it. And here you can edit the details should you wish. The final table on the right reflects the payroll summary for a particular financial year to date. This includes your total number of employees, gross pay, tax, national insurance, as well as any pension contributions to date. 